guys this is my w210 this is like by far the easiest car to work on because of the spacing uh depending on what it is but everything is uh straightforward right now i gotta change that broken belt tensioner right here as you can see it had got worn out and stuff um i was gonna go on a long drive so good thing i checked that my belt was all messed up so good thing i already checked that i already replaced the alternator like a few months ago now i gotta replace this bad boy right here just look at her anyway this ain't gonna be bad fantasy we just come out man this car just opened up so much space just look at that you probably throw an ls in here <laughs> Anyway, I always keep the tools and all that on me. Always got to keep tools and stuff on me because you never know what happened. You just will never know. As you can see, you get a better look at this goddamn belt and that tensioner. Out with the old and with the new. And guys, I spent two eighty two at uh, Advance. I uh, could have got this way cheaper, but hey, it is what it is. Can't complain about it. But look at that. Anyway, guys, this is our replacement right here compared to the other one. Always make sure uh, the parts are the same, uh, especially at these auto parts stores because they like to give you own parts. Oh, anyway, guys, look how sh <laughs> Look how that thing just broke it. So we got a new tension on and we got that off. Anyway guys, it's time to drop the new belt in. Just like that new belt is on new tensioner. Probably gonna have to end up replacing this compressor and all that, but we nearly replaced nearly by everything. Alternator water pump, now that I mean Car so easy to work on too, so very easy. Probably need to clean this engine bay up too, just a little bit, but we got it.
I guess where you drive hard, because I do drive it hard sometimes, but mainly I be cruising and stuff. Mainly I be cruising this car, but it get wear, wear and tear and stuff. So we replaced three things thus far. Alternator, water pump. But this car is going up in mileage. Only got about 150K uh, on there. Not two, I ain't even hit 200K yet. So I got it at 116. So stuff started, you know, breaking left and right. I mean, that's normal. But hey, this car can be back on the road in two seconds. Not like a BMW or anything. However, I do got these uh, two lights right here, the ABS and all that. I still got to figure that crap out. Um, could probably go to a dealer or something, get that sorted. But I mean, car driving fine and amazing and all that, so I'm good. I like the new uh, style of belt uh, tensioner. It's pretty cool, pretty neat. I still gotta find this little hand thing. Well, the screw for it. I can't find the screw nowhere online. I try looking at FCP Euro, all the Euro uh, websites. Maybe I'm mislooking, so I need to relook. But look at how much stuff I got. I always keep two bags and all that on me. No matter where I go, I always keep it on me. You never know what happened. I got a jack on me. I got everything. I got some new uh, bolts uh, for the uh, Tahoe. I was going to go with some ARP head, st uh, head studs or some AR, uh, AR, ARAP uh, bolts or whatever. But, you know, with time and stuff, she A lot going to be changing next year, man. Going to be moving. Like I'm moving, like it's crazy. I'm still gonna have my same spot and stuff, but that's like I said, that used to be like my grandma place. So I end up moving over there by my mom and all that. So I'm end up moving again, but I'm still gonna be there. Porsche still gonna be there. I'm still gonna be there. I'm still gonna be on the other side of the world too. So I'm gonna try to uh, pop videos and stuff out. I've been trying to uh, brainstorm and see what I want to do. But anyway, that's gonna be it. I ain't gonna talk y'all heads off. I'm not gonna talk y'all heads off. I'll see y'all. Peace.